Hello, it's Heather the Painter here. I wanted to talk a little bit about Particle Shop's hairbrushes and just the beauty that they offer. And they're so simple, they're ready to go, they're ready to use. So I am in Photoshop CC and I'm using a Wacom Intuos Pro tablet. And it's fabulous if you're using any kind of pressure sensitive tablet and stylus like the Wacom's. If you're using just a mouse, you can still have fun, but you're not gonna get the variability and control. So I'm gonna start off by making a copy of this background and I'm going to go to Filter, Painter, Particle Shop. Now as that dialog opens, it's gonna give us the offer or the option to purchase brushes, either within that dialog, or you can go straight to Corel.com and purchase them there. We're gonna X out, and we are going to use the hair brushes. Now what I'd like to do with her is fill out a little bit of more hair back here and maybe over here. I like a lot of drama with the painted portraits. So I'm gonna try, it's probably gonna be a little bit of a twist between wavy and wild. So I'm gonna take the wavy brush and make a test mark. And I really like that one, but I need to make a few tweaks. I'm gonna make sure variability is off. Make that brush size a little bigger. There we go. And I need to make sure that I'm selecting the right color. So I'm gonna sample. And I always start with the darker tones. Go back to brush. And I'm going to start sketching out where I need that hair to fill. Now this brush is very responsive to little movements like side to side movements. You see how it like curls and pinches and twirls, which is perfect because her hair was naturally curly and wavy. So I just want to fill it. Already it's looking nice and full. To make this realistic, we do need to follow the same lighting pattern and color that's in her natural hair. So I'm going to sample again. And I'm gonna keep building up slowly to lighter tones. Oops, wrong brush. Let me go back to wavy. I love, love, love how this one pinches. Kind of pinches and turns. And we're gonna keep sampling and putting brush marks down. Now at this point, I might opt to change the brush just to get a little bit of a different look. I'm gonna pull up Smooth, make a test mark. And I believe Smooth still has the glow turned on. So we're gonna turn that off. And I'm gonna reset this brush because I don't remember how it first came out. There we go. Much better. And I'm gonna make sure that Opacity has the pressure sensitivity on. Perfect. So I'm gonna sample. I'm gonna go back to smooth. And I'm gonna start to build up some of this hair. Now I'm a little bit dark. Let's turn that opacity way down to 20. Cause I want subtle, subtle buildups here. That way it keeps it looking nice and realistic. So it's believable. And let's choose some highlights and selectively put those in areas where the light looks like it's hitting. I'm gonna turn down that highlight just a little bit. It's a bit too bright. There we go. So just where the light looks like it could be hitting. You'll notice I'm not doing it back here because that's the shadow side. Take a hotter highlight. And now I'm gonna go in with that blender brush, which is twirl. 
and try to blend it in a little bit more with the existing hair. It's blending in very nicely. So if I zoom out, that looks pretty believable. Now I'm afraid I've gotten rid of a little bit too much of my highlights. So I'm going to put those back in with the smooth brush. Sample a nice highlight color and a very low opacity. Just lightly, lightly highlight some of those areas where that light might be hitting. This will help it look more believable. Very, very nice. And again, it's going to ask us, do you want to merge the brushwork with your layer or do you want to save it on a transparent layer, which is what I'd recommend. So we're going to say save only brush strokes. So before and after. I think she'll be very happy with it. And again, what's nice about keeping this on a blank layer is we can add a little bit of photographic green to it to make it look believable. So I'm going to come back up here to filter, noise, add noise, zoom in. It's a little bit much. Let's go down to 1.5. And it's just enough for it to be nice and believable. And voila. I'm Heather the Painter. I hope you enjoyed this and I highly encourage you to check out the Particle Shop brushes, especially the hair pack, and have fun with them.